today we're watching three body problem mm -hmm. and this will be the first episode that we're filming that we know nothing, nothing about, about it. it there's a weird vibe around this show uh, what do you mean well nobody really wants to watch it with us and i don't understand why i'm right i'm here okay come and hang with us but regardless to that it's getting tons and tons of amazing reviews. Mm -hmm. However, when the reviewers were reviewing it, it wasn't doing too well. What do you mean? Well, like, what's the crack? I don't Why? Know. Well, you saw some really bad reviews of this show. I've some, seen some really weird reviews. I've seen, like, The Guardian gave it three out of five, but also said it's a masterpiece. And it's, like, it's so confusing. That doesn't make any sense. No. There were some people that were reviewing it and... They were like, oh, I just didn't understand it. And they well, gave it a crap review. <laughs> I will be honest, like, there were some things in the first episode that if you weren't here, I would have been like, all right. For example, so they've got that thing on the screen, and is it, I want to say particles? Yeah. Okay, so the particles, you taught me what they're supposed to do. When they were showing it on the screen as like, <laughs> I was just sitting there like, right, Ange. I think the red lines were supposed to give it away. Like, the but red lines are where it diverged from the path that was expected. I think that for the idiots in the room, they should have maybe explained that a little bit more in the first episode so that people uh, could have a better understanding. Apparently the book is very science-heavy as well. And the show's not so much. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I thought you read somewhere that's what I said. No. I just think that for the people like me that don't have a clue about these kind of things, and thank God you do, yeah, he's gonna get me through it, you guys. Yeah, but I don't, I don't <laughs> necessarily feel like they needed to be like... You just shrugged me off when I did that. That's all right. <laughs> I, I don't think you necessarily need to know anything specific, considering that they did just turn around and they were like, physics is broken! And that's like, if you... If you needed a high level overview, you just need, yeah, physics is broken. Yeah, I just, for for me, well, you know what I'm like. I like to get, like, quite into the shows that I'm watching, and I like to have a little bit more thrown at me, but mm -hmm. not in the sense of, like, well, you should just know. There was someone in the comments talking about, God, what was she called? The woman at the start that isn't a very good dive person. Vita? Vera, the one that killed herself. Yeah. yeah, so there were so many people that were like, oh my god, it's like can, so obvious. Can I can I just interject just before that? I just said something that I never hear on the internet anymore, and it really, like, I, I'll never understand it, and it's killed herself, or committed suicide, or anything like that. People just, like, there's this weird trend of not saying those words, Oh, really? As if they're somehow going to get you, like, blacklisted from the universe. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't Yeah, like, this. people say, like, self-end and... What? Like, yeah, it's all sorts of weird, like, mental I've... gymnastics they use, and I don't understand why, and it just... So it's like, oh, you can't talk about, you can't talk about suicide, because then the yellow man will get you. But it's a, it's a thing, and it's, it was clearly quite a big topic at the start, you know, why did she do it, what's going on, uh, the God thing, and... You know, why was she talking about God when she's a scientist and... Is that kind of a thing? What? If you're a scientist, then why would you think about God? Because well, yeah, you've got an answer for everything. Yeah, generally. But I do I do agree that with what I said in the last episode, that it's like, well, if there's something that's that's got the ability to break down all known laws of physics I'm across the entire world, like, surely, surely that's... Uh, I'm quite scared of this show, if I'm being honest. Some sort of deity. See Shogun, right? <laughs> Stop it, Susie! <laughs> See Shogun, right? It's like my favourite show at the moment. But it's got complications in there, but I feel like I can follow along quite easily. This one, I feel like I'm going to be like, her, <laughs> and I'm scared. I mean, I'm guessing like, from what I've read anyway, that's what the the show's supposed to be like. Oh no. So, which I means I'm looking forward to it. He's looking forward to it and I will be the dumb one in the video. But I mean, what's new, right? I need to grow out my neck beard and shave my regular beard so I can be, well, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. 
Okay, so I'm excited. We know quite a lot from the first episode, but we also know nothing. Jon Snow. We absolutely <laughs> know nothing. And I'm intrigued about the video game as well. Mm. Although I don't like calling it a video game. It's clearly not a video game. Um, but yeah. Someone says to, says to me in the comments of the last episode... They were like, it's not based on a video game, it's based on a book and blah, 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 blah. Oh my God, duh. And I was like, yeah, the, I've got the book, it's sitting in my kitchen just now. I'm That's waiting, right, so it I'm is. waiting to read it. I think, yeah. I think someone said that the first season is the first book, because it's a... Three books? Six books? Twenty books? I don't know. Oh. I think I think doing six books, and that's three books. Right. Um... So yeah, I'm like, well, if, if that's true, I'll wait until the end of the first season and I'll read the first book. Yeah. So, but apparently the show is a huge departure from the book anyway. Right, so. okay, so you'll have a different experience with it. Which is fine by me, and I actually said this. Maybe it was in the last episode. I don't like when... Uh, oh no, it, was, it wasn't. It was when we were at the event. I said I don't like reading a book and then watching a show because I feel like you ruin your experience because you're comparing constantly. Whereas... I feel like you're better off having nothing to compare to, especially if you're going to, well, especially if we're going to react to it. I feel like it's better. Yeah, mangas. Well, not even just, not even just that, but like The Last of Us. Yeah, I think as a TV show, I would have enjoyed The Last of Us more if that was my first introduction to it. Mm -hmm. But I also reckon I would have had a lot of questions like, why is this rushing so much? You know? Yeah, yeah, it, it was, was very like, rushed. It kind of skipped from oh thing God, to people thing. People were so angry at us saying that it was rushing. Yeah, I don't care. And they were like, oh, well, they spent X million on each episode. They have to rush or some Yeah, excuse. well, they still made an error in one of the episodes. I seen it. Oh yeah, the truck. The truck and yeah. the camera crew was like, off oh, to the, the side. Scenes, yeah. That's yeah. funny. But if you want to watch this unedited with us, make sure you head on over to suzylou.co.uk or head on over to the Patreon. The link is in the description. And no, I am not sick. I'm just not wearing eyeliner. That's just elephant in the room. That was a really abrupt segue to that, to talking about the website. Yeah, I always do. You that. were just like, and. <laughs> 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 All right, look, we can watch a show. I'm ready. Okay. I'm so All right, ready show, for this. All right, show up. Show up. We watch a show. Right, I get it. Okay. Netflix um. for the balls. <laughs> what does he mean? I don't like it when the universe winks at me. It's on the BBC. She's like, oh man, it's all coming back to me now. So it's CG. <laughs> oh. Here we go Here we again. Go again. <laughs> <laughs> I just turned that TV off. I was asleep then. I thought she was going to lock her door. Aww. Aww. You know, I'm surprised that more people don't do that in their homes when someone passes on. Has like a little shrine. A shrine. Yeah. Because yeah. I would. The blinking stars. Yep. Yeah. Do you have a theory? I do. It's what? It never happened. Huh? The world saw it happen. Sure. Everyone on Earth. But you know who didn't see it? Webb. Hubble. Chaos. None of the satellites saw it. You know why? Why? Because it never happened. It was a deep fake. What? So every single person saw a deep fake. I. I guess why. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't think he's. He's in copium mode. I mean, I get. Sure. I get it. But I think it's more likely that it's been inserted into people's brains as opposed to. Like, I don't know. It's a deep fake. I don't understand. Unless that's what he was hinting at. Love you, Oggy. Love you more. It's interesting though that the satellites didn't pick it up. Mm. Maybe they just weren't paying attention. Who knows? Did you see the flickering stars last night, Dr. Salazar? Um... Salazar Slytherin. Any theories? No. I couldn't be dealing with that. Like, any theories? I'd be like, oh, can we stop, well, man? Of course, everyone's going to be thinking about it and talking know, about it. It's but... mental. Are you ready? Let's see what happens. Nine minutes, eh? Let's see what happens indeed. It's 
So what was it she said she was working on? There we go. I'm sure I speak for all of us when I say, we thought you were crazy seven years ago. <laughs> but your extraordinary vision has got us to this moment. This is kind of weird though that she's setting up all of this, her life's work, and the timer is so close mm -hmm. to whatever is about to happen here. Yeah, it's like her discovery is going to be the thing that Raising the diamond. ends her timer? Because we don't know what happens. Something doesn't want this discovered. Something or someone. I don't know, aliens, man. I gotta say, I'd be pretty raging though. Like seven years of hard work and then it's you know, messing with me at this point. I'm like, what is it she's doing though? Ah. I was gonna say, is it, is the nanofibers being held across those things to cut the diamond? Got you. You have to shut it down. Shut it down. I'm chief scientific officer and I'm ordering you to shut it down. Shut what down? No, just, it stops. Just, what? This is over. But then you're doing exactly what it wants you to do. You're giving up just like everybody else has at this point. I mean, no one's going to shut that down though. No. <laughs> like. I mean, there's other people in charge. Do you know what I mean? Well, she did say it was her company. Oh God, I'm freaking out. It's okay! Nothing's gonna happen, I promise! Oh! Hmm. You what? totally would, though. I keep moving. Your colleagues will be coming soon. That's Lennon! Mr. Wong, I'm not happy mm. about that. I don't even know what his name is in the show. I don't think you can help me, officer. Maybe not, but don't you want to know why the stars flickered for you? No. It's like I may have been there with a very long lens and I may have been watching you. Okay, so she just decides with a minute to go, that's it, shut it down. Isn't that what the, the woman that committed suicide, she did the exact same thing? Um, I don't know. As aliens! Imagine trying to speak to them in Chinese when everyone knows aliens speak English. It's <laughs> You know, if you think that with all the planets that are out there, that we are the only species, like you're crazy. Yeah. But that's what she's saying, the, the Fermi paradox is that with all that light, with all the potential for life, where are they? However, well, we haven't gone to them. Well, I mean, it's just the point of the speed of light, you know? When the speed of light is the fastest that anything can go and things are so many light years away from us, you know? Oh, Listen, that's why she's here and not a prisoner. But I want to know, like, why did she give up all of this just to move away from a normal life? Oh, we'll see. If that was me, I'd fall asleep. <laughs> ASMR. In在去年六月十二日对木星由行星引力导致的自转摆动观测中意外检测到木星本身发出的强烈的电磁辐射在同一天我们的监听系统 <laughs> Is this a wow signal they're talking about? Woman, beware, Xun Shan Tian Wen Tai, Wan Lush San Fen Jung. Woman, Jen Tell the Dance of Fushu, Bush Lights of Moosey, Shalites of Tai. 
Did it bounce off the sun? Is that a thing? I wouldn't imagine so, no. 从木星到太阳的用时是四十三分，从太阳到地球的用时十八分。Don't ask me a question. So who got it first? Ah, <laughs> never clue. 加八等于五十一，两者相差。This is the question I was expecting her to ask. <laughs> the question is how fast was it going? 你是说太阳反射了木星的电磁辐射？不光是反射，它放大了。太阳受到木星的电磁辐射后又发射出来。嗯，也就是说，我们可以把太阳当做一个超级天线，通过它向宇宙发射电波。没错。So it's like a mirror. It's like pew pew. It's not just a mirror. It's like a. a... Giant amplifying circuit, you know. China will become the new technology center. I have to go to Lei Zhengwei. Report. Report. Must report. So let me guess. It turns out that it's all her fault because <laughs> she's the one that found a way to kind of be getting the signals like back across to whoever、mm. these things are. Yang Weining, 同志。这是一个十分大胆的想法。是啊，已经研究一阵子了。我们得到一个回应的时间可能是数年之后。He's gonna take all the credit. Yep, very nice. 我想听听他的意见。Oh, oops. I know. 想出了将太阳作为电波放大器的解题思路。She's like, what? Yeah, exactly. 这个算法十分有说服力。你认为他的想法正确吗 ？Oh my god, I'd be like no. I feel like yeah, I know his calculations are correct because they're my calculations. That's twice now that she's been done in. 那可是伟大的红太阳。你想过这种实验的政治含义吗？政委。The political symbolism. <laughs> That's so funny. 你太让我失望了。还有你，叶文杰同志，你作为无产阶级敌人的后代，你本应该警告他。怎么还能赞同他的想法 ？Excuse me。人民心中的红太阳，是在放大上亿人民的心声，绝不可以！我坚决反对。Oh my God！ Well, that escalated fast, didn't it? She's like, I am surrounded by complete idiots. Yeah, complete but, idiots. It's not about science; it's about the political symbolism of the thing. China, everybody. See if that was Shogun, he'd just catch it. <laughs> I want to caught a, a fly with my bare hand. <laughs> She's gonna do it anyway. <laughs> I actually feel like because he was the one that was like, "Oh yeah, me, whatever," and then he got mad about it anyways, that it worked out better for her.、Mm. They might have treated her differently if they thought it was all her. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. See everything that's happening in present day. It's all her fault. Imagine being able to control something that big with just using your everything. I just thought of something.、What? So when they put the headgear on, what was the first thing she saw? It was the sun、mm -hmm. moving. True. I feel like that's like the first piece of something. I'm on to it, you guys. Yeah. For the first time, we're watching a show where your answer of aliens might actually be correct. <laughs> All right, girl. Just press the button. Well, she just needs to make sure it's pointed in the right direction. Three, two, one. Test launch sequence. Fire! I mean, you'd have to get it at the right place, otherwise it's just going to come straight back. No. <laughs> I think you would have to be extremely, extremely precise for that. That that's pretty precise, ah. Test launch sequence. This is when you just spin the wee thing so it stops pointing at the, <laughs> at the sun. Like I'm actually getting chills for her because I am thinking about her in the future, where it's like, oh, honey, what have you done? Do you think that's how long it's taken for them to get the transmission, though? Maybe. What do you know about this man? You're talking what, twenty-five years, maybe? No. Does it surprise you that Vera had a friend like that? Nothing surprises me anymore. 
You know what surprises me? Why do you think you can smoke indoors? Why he's allowing you to smoke indoors? You say you spoke to. Here's security footage of the alley you were in. Told you. She didn't exist. Talking to no one. She was there. Fagash on the way. I swear to God she was there. I wasn't talking to myself. I believe you. Look. I believe that that's what you believe. Your cigarette's unlit. And... Ooh, oh, what the hell? That makes no sense. Now, I don't know how, but someone scrubbed her out of the footage. My team couldn't find any trace of it being manipulated, but we know it was, which is... Mental. Yeah, that is mental. You just invented the world's finest nerve fiber, 3,000 times finer than human hair, invisible as air, strong as steel, all that. It's all that. Well, it's obviously dangerous to someone. Competitor, maybe? Yeah, a competitor who made the universe flicker. I don't think much is dangerous to a competitor that can do that. No. Then I think I disappointed her because I quit her course and switched into applied science. Maybe that's why she killed herself. This count down your sword. Huh? <laughs> Has anyone else seen it? They have. A cybernetics professor in New Delhi, an AI scientist at Boston Dynamics, a physicist in London just the other day, a couple of dozen more. What happened to them? Poor Boston Dynamics. They quit working. Oh. He did a quit like you. What a quit like really yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Bye. Time to play some video games. <laughs> I'm just thinking like I don't actually know when this is set. I just assumed it was present day, but with them smoking indoors and the amount of cigarettes, maybe it's not. Like eighties, you think? Hmm, maybe. Well, think of it this way. So the Chinese section is in the 60s. Right. And then you think... She looked quite young, though. Yeah, but let's just say 30 years later. Oh. Level one. Could still be late 80s, early 90s. No way. This is insane. I feel like the fashion would be different and... I don't know. I think there was some flat I think there was some like LCD flat panel TVs as well. I am the Count of the West. <gasps> oh wow. Wouldn't you laugh if this had nothing to do with it? If they just wanted like a little video game side bit in it. <laughs> <laughs> Enough talk of games. This is no game. This is my follower. You may call her follower. <laughs> <laughs> Your mission is to solve the riddle of this world. Riddle of this world? Alright, how about a... Uh... Copernicus. What? <laughs> what? Welcome to Civilization 137. Copernicus. Like that he kind of went along with yeah, that. Yeah, he's like, yeah, sure, <laughs> Copernicus. This is a weird game. It's not a game. If Emperor Zhou is wrong, an entire civilization will be destroyed. What? How? By the sun. Run! <laughs> Gonna get toasty! Copernicus! Oh, right. <laughs> Copernicus! Couldn't have been Dave, could it? Something easy to remember. Uh oh. Take the headset off, it's gonna get toasty! There's only enough shade for two of us. Count? Well, it can't be me. I must get my prediction to the Emperor. You don't abandon me, will you? Go. Ah, oh, okay. Oh no. What? Follow her! <laughs> it's too hot, she's gonna burn up. No, she won't. She won't? Are you sure? How do you know? Oh my. Oh. Yo! Hey! It just, it just turned it into some beef jerk. Oh, that's horrific. So 
She's gonna turn into bony. Oh, oh. no, no, just a bit of beef jerky. I think he might have lied. It's just no, no. It's just like one of them little dinosaurs that you get that you just add water and it becomes a huge dinosaur. <laughs> Look at him. He's just like now the dad's over. <laughs> he just needs to spit on her and she'll be fine. <laughs> So, so you can just roll it up and put it in oh, your pocket. Oh my god! <laughs> I thought you were gonna go like this, and then she'd just come back again. <laughs> Those who dehydrate fast enough can be preserved. We rehydrate them when a stable era arrives. <laughs> All right. So this is how people survive the chaotic eras. If one of us survives, we all survive. I feel like that's something to remember. Mm. I'm gonna get to watch Sam just oh, disintegrate, I aren't I? Count! That's messed up. <laughs> go to the bloody pyramid thing! He said to go to the pyramid! I know! Like, you might as well follow him. You don't know anything else about this place. You can be a follower! I gotta say though, I wasn't expecting that. She's like, you know what, this game's crap, I want a refund. <laughs> Either the science is wrong, or it's a scam. <laughs> so what about the... You guys want to drop acid on the marshes? Hadron collisions. Yes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's such a shame that Augie's like calling him and then he's just like, yeah, got two girls here. I know. <laughs> There's no headphone jack. There's not even a charging port. <laughs> and usually there'd be logos all over it if it was a, a Sony or Oculus or mm. whatnot. Probably a beta tester. No, this is not beta anything. So it's, it's definitely new then if he's talking about Oculus. And he was talking about Boston Dynamics, so. Do you need a, a password or anything to log in? No, you just put it on. Okay. Just put it All on! Right. See I know, what that'd happens. Be, that'd be the first thing that I'd done. I would at least lie down first, because you don't know what your body's doing. Holy. This is. mental. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be well into that, man. I love his outfit, it suits him. Don't lick it. <laughs> this is... Doesn't quite taste like it's crisp, though, does it? <laughs> no. This is what they want to do to all the humans on the it. planet. <laughs> what the f What happened? Some bird just cut my head off. <laughs> I could smell the f I could feel the cold, I could taste the f dirt. You ate dirt? <laughs> I mean, we're talking about, we're talking about 50 years, 150? Yeah, feels about right. This is what Vera was playing before she killed herself. And then he just launched it onto the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Screw this thing. What if the aliens all want to trap us with those things on? And That'd then control fine. us? That was great. That's just absurd. Come on. Where are you? Ah! <laughs> Stop killing him! See, he survived Game of Thrones. <laughs> and then he dies that easy. We don't talk about spoilers. Well, I'm saying. What's our mission? Our mission, Jin Chung, is Jack Rooney getting his mortal f revenge. Oh, He's <laughs> just going to keep putting it on until he kills her. Yeah. Just cut my head off again, again yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair though, like, so she gets like a cool guy to follow. Do you not hear what she says though? You're gonna play, yeah, and I'm just gonna sit here and... Right, well, that's, um, that's great. Mm. I guess she's not cutting your head off. She says to him you weren't invited. Oh. That's what she says the first time. But then why was it okay for her to put the headset on and not him? Because maybe she's been invited but not fully. I saw your message. Your messages. Yeah, the next day after you were with your ladies. The board wants to fire me. I mean, of course they want to fire me. They have no idea why I shut down. What was I supposed to say? That the stars told me to? Yeah, I... that's... It, it's f***ed up. It's f***ed up? What do you want them to say? Go get a cup of coffee or something and, and just talk about it. You're a child, so it's not cute anymore. Ooh. I don't like you guys obviously aren't together right now. 
And you phone him up at night and just expect him to drop everything to come and see you. You heard it here, ladies. Oh, I heard that. I don't know, like, they obviously have something between them, though. But they're both too stupid to actually just come out with it. Happy birthday, love. Aww. Well, that's a 2020 on the Oh, storm. there you go. It's obscene, isn't it? How fragile we are. Here it comes, the weird mind games. Oh, no. One mistake. One stupid mistake. It's gone. Weird place to have a random convo. What happened to your wife? Oh, that's a bit personal, is it not? Breast cancer. Your dad? Shot in the head. Oof. Oh. I'm sorry. Don't be. No, it's a good way to go. So quick. Sure. I mean, so they say, but you don't actually know that. Well, that's true. <laughs> you can't ask them, can you? How was that for you? I get back to work. Keep warm, mate. Eh? Turns out yeah. he shot him. Oh, that'd be funny. Just throwing it out there. Not funny for him because he got shot. But... And if he's racking his brain, shot anyone in the head recently, or? Well, no, he doesn't seem like the type of person that's you know really to your point and shooty, you know. I know, but like sometimes you find yourself in situations. What's the name? Edith Marsh, yeah. 1905 to 1909. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, somehow I don't think your dad was that young. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. He's getting his own helmet. Now who the hell delivered that though? Hmm. You have been cordially invited. Oh no. Well, when I put mine on, I didn't have some lady slice me down. No. So I was quite lucky. Look at his whole chuff, not thinking like, how did this get here? Who delivered it? Funny if the woman was there again. <laughs> oh! Merry old England, is it? <laughs> Turn around just in case, though. Oh, I like your outfit. Custom skins. I like it. <laughs> Here we go. I'm ready for you this time, mate. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I am Sir Thomas More. Oh, oh, I was oh, going to say he's going to punch him. <laughs> now. <laughs> he didn't exactly attack you, did he? No. <laughs> Leave the chin alone. <laughs> I said my name is Sir yes, Thomas all right, Moore. pal. Mind your neck in. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Jack Rooney. You need to choose a better name. What? <laughs> I think Jack is fine. <laughs> if there are exact carbon copies of your body oh. out there with the exact same quantum processes, then all of your thoughts and feelings are simultaneously arising in an infinite number of elsewheres an infinite number of times. So, when your uh -oh. consciousness ends... I was going to say, what's wrong with him? Yeah. It could continue to exist in another world. Well, that's a really nice thought. I actually wish that that's something I could come, like, believe in. Yeah. You know? Because I don't know if it is. But, on a very deep scale, we have to go somewhere. Surely. It, like, it makes no sense. I don't no know, sense. don't call me Shirley. <laughs> But it just makes no sense that we're on this planet as ourselves and then when your body gets too old, I disappear? Like, it doesn't make any sense. So Henry VIII's like, all right then, rehydrate the masses! So we go outside and I put this, this bill tongue. Jack, can, sorry, can you shut up a sec? I need to talk to you about something. This <laughs> bill tongue. <laughs> What's this big news? No, 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 don't tell me. After 10 years, you finally asked Jin out now that she's dating an admiral. I have pancreatic cancer. Oh. Ah, oh, Jack, if you just wait a minute. Median survival time is, uh, it's like two to six months. So. Christ. So, 
NHS doctor says so and he's just going to accept it. No. No, 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 no. Right, we'll, we'll go to Switzerland or... There's where I'm, Jack. <laughs> All they can do now is to make me comfortable, right? So they're going to operate on my tumours. They're going to fluff the pillows on the sinking ship. And I said... That. Crap, pal. Yeah. This is what you always do, man. You, you, you give up on everything. I didn't give up on You anything. quit physics because you thought you weren't smart enough. You give up on gin because you thought you were punching above. And now you're giving up on yourself no, and you won't have it. Life. <laughs> that. <laughs> I'm with you, brother. I think that's pretty much how I would react as well. Now let's go get McDonald's, <laughs> okay? Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel like eating, Jack. Will. And eat. <laughs> Try. In more sense than just the eating, okay? Eat a burger with your buddy. See, that makes more sense. You get cozy when you're wearing it. Jack just likes to sit down and be like, Hur! <laughs> I'm like, how do you know what you're doing? Are you like falling over or? I don't know, man. I want one of those treadmills, the VR treadmills. He goes on about this like all the time. Maybe, maybe I'll go to the PO box and someone will have had one delivered. Set. Actually, <laughs> don't do that. Because <laughs> send one. No, don't. So it's interesting they're talking about like your. It's not very nice. You just don't want me to be happy. <laughs> Consciousness when you die. Uh huh. And I feel like this is like the other consciousness, maybe. I bring you salvation for our civilization. Yes, yes, get on with it. <laughs> I have created a code for the universe, and with this code, I can predict the movements of the sun. That's what they all say. But it is interesting that it's focusing on the sun, though. Hmm. And in the the Chinese section of the show, that's what it was all about. She laser beamed the sun. This is prophecy, no prediction. What? Speak aloud, child, or die. <clears throat> All right. Don't touch the chicken. Physical laws. Yeah, the laws of physics. Everything we've observed to be true about the world. Which world? Oh. The code is complete. It will answer your questions. I mean, that was quick. <laughs> Fancy. I'm sorry, what were you saying? We will enjoy a glorious stable era for 63 years. With a climate so mild, it will be a golden age. Sky, now! I love that she's gonna be like, what? Let the days what? What? fly past! Oh no, what, what's. Let the days fly past. Hmm? Put you... your hand on the ground. It speeds up time. Uh, <laughs> Listen, I didn't get a manual for this no, no. game, okay? I know, I need some, like, tutorial here. <laughs> what are those sons doing? They're acting like the first episode. Like the particles. Just Maybe what that's want. what the particles mean. Maybe that was the direction. I advise you to waken your dynasty and let it prosper. Rehydrate! Yay! Oh, what is going on, man? That's what the Twitch streamers tell you to do. Whoa! Rehydrate. Pretty. If only it was that easy to go on holiday. Just put your hand on the ground, and then it completely <laughs> changes. Whee! Here she comes. She's coming back. Oh. Like this is gonna be gross. You don't wanna watch. Throw a piece of beef jerky into the ocean and it comes out a steak. It's just gonna go whoop. Aw. <laughs> Thought it'd be more disgusting. Oh, Jesus! Where's the leg hair? Come on. <laughs> All the people they've lost are just throwing them in the water. Gonna put some clothes on them or something. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. And they died with their clothes. What the oh, hell? Oh no! All the women coming out with their booties out. Yeah, go and see a follower. She'll be okay. Spare me. 
what if she's the only one that isn't? Oh. oh. No, it looks like she's fine. Oh, she came out with her clothes on. Thankfully. <laughs> I was about to say, please. I was actually thinking about it, like, please, God. Abandon me. Of course not. Well, it all ended up being good in the end. Count! Look! No. So it wasn't 63 he years. He was wrong. It's about to get very chilly. Better run. It's gonna say everyone inside, no? Or take your headset off. I just go in the water! Or maybe not. I don't think that'd be a good idea. It's so strange. It's, I'm like watching this trying to be like, where's the actual like correlation? Where's the seriousness? I but I feel like I'm just watching a video game and it's cool. It's just completely separate from everything that's else that's going madness. on just now. Going through all the naked bodies. Get out the way! So she wouldn't abandon you, unlike that guy. So will all these people just die then? Because it's that cold and they're naked. Oh! oh. Ah! I don't think you're rehydrating that. Oh! It's all right, it's just an NPC. Or was it? Dun dun dun. Why didn't they just go back inside? They weren't that far from it. And why did they not break apart, but she did? Questions, you know? Looks like the guy's glowing sticks weren't correct. You did not save them. But you did establish the superiority of science over mysticism. In level two, you must use science to save the next civilization. Was that the point then, to prove that your crazy ways should be ignored and that she knew the answer all along? I've got no clue. Oh. Okay, who are you? Why are you who putting are people you? through this video game? Damn you! So there is someone in charge of sword art. Hmm. I think the question is, what is he trying to learn from them then? Yeah. If he's putting certain people through it, like you are invited, like we want these people to play this game. What is he trying to learn from them? And what happens if you lose? Take it off, surely. I received a complaint about you, Clarence. What did I do what? now? <laughs> Apparently you've been smoking in your office. Huh? Yeah, I'd go outside, but it's a long way. <laughs> I'll go outside next time. No need. I sacked the guy who made the complaint. <laughs> well, I wish I hadn't fired him. Tell me about Evans. At least now you get to know who the snitch was. What about the stars? Did he pay for them to disappear? There's someone behind everything. You just have to dig. Well, I dug up this. Who do you think's got the, the technology yeah. capable of doing that, though? Back in 1977, Ohio State so University detected a 72 second sequence called it the wow signal. See? Because it made all the astrophysicists go wow. They said it looked like an attempt at communication. It's called the wow signal because the guy that found it first wrote wow on the paper. What's it say? No one knows. No one's been able to decode it, except for one observatory in northeast China. And? That's probably nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but I may have found the lady. What do you think about Mike Evans? Guess where he lived in 1977. Mmm. Okay. You say who has the technology for the sky, but who has the technology to make these headsets? Mm -hmm. Could be the same... Same fella. Yeah. Why can't we just have like sword dart style VR headsets, huh? I mean, if you watch Sword Art, you'd know why. Well, I've, I've read Ready Player One and Two. Oh, 
It is. Is that the guy with the headsets? No, that's the old man with the hat that got in a helicopter. Right. Mm, silent spring. May I ask why you are here? I'm trying to save lives. The locos? <laughs> How are you helping them? You hear lives and you think human lives. Of course, we always think of ourselves first. Mm -hmm. Who are you trying to save? How many people get the chance to save a species? 10,000 species go extinct every year because of the greed of one. But that's just natural selection, though. <laughs> yeah. We select them to die. <laughs> this land isn't yours. It shouldn't belong to anyone. It belongs to the people. Uh, and the people will destroy it. Ruin an entire ecosystem for a radio lab. It doesn't trouble you. The stupidity of the people. I feel like that's a good way to get yourself killed, mate. I have work to do. They didn't come here asking for your permission. Oof, what's she gonna do? I don't know. She's gonna do something. Obviously doesn't die because he's in the future. What's your name? Ye Wenjie. Mike Evans. I would try to stop them. Oh. She's a good egg. She we has like a good egg. Her. Whilst also laser beaming the sun. <laughs>电子干扰很小，交通也方便。二号方案选址同样符合，但我担心那里的人文环境太穷了，太穷是隐患。基地建在那里，恐怕将来与地方上的关系会有麻烦。嗯，我知道这么做你会失望。Do I have this Oh, oh. That's the young girl that yeah, killed her dad. The one that I'm like, she needs to die! Uh, that's interesting, I didn't think we'd see her again. Yeah, I kind of thought we did. Yeah. Bring her here so she can have a <coughs> accident, please. She had a very like distinct distinct look about her that I thought, yeah, she's gonna be around. Yeah. Hey girl, remember me? She hasn't aged a day in six years. <laughs> Eight years. Eight years. Oh she's just changed ever so slightly though. Internally she's like, good, did that hurt? Well what'd she do wrong to end up there though? <laughs> Nah, it doesn't work like that. Yeah. Some people don't deserve it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You, you started it. You started it. Oh. Okay. Well, that was nice of them. Yeah, maybe it doesn't seem like the best idea what you were uh, campaigning for then, does it? Yeah, ain't no forgiveness here, honey. No. Yeah, I don't understand, like... Like, who do you think you are at this point? Like, you are not in control. Like, shut up. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. This is when you channel your inner Jack and just punch her square in the face. No. No one will channel. She's going to have an accident. <laughs> it would take all the courage in the world to not kill her. Yeah. Maybe not courage, restraint. We know what you meant. Okay. Oh. 
R2? Say something! Hope you're recording this. Hello, is there anyone out there? Oh my god, you'd be so excited! Mm. <laughs> oh shoot! Numbers. Lots and lots of numbers. Hello! <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> just, just flicking the switches. Like, oh, are these numbers that were on the wall? Do not answer. Oh no. Because if someone else got it. Oh my gosh. Ah! Oh my gosh. Okay, that's fine. We'll just pretend we saw nothing here. Okay, who responded? Don't. I mean, if it was me, I'd be like, okay. <laughs> Okay, I will respond, I promise. Thing is, maybe they didn't respond, but maybe someone else got their first signal. I mean, well, wait a damn minute here. What makes you think that you're so good that you can conquer our planet, huh? If they can come, they can conquer. <laughs> Please don't tell me she's going to do it again. I was going to say, like, this is her going for it again. You gotta play it like a video game, girl! Don't! That's the thing though, could you literally just sit there and be like... She is responding. Is that numbers next to the the Chinese? Like, was there numbers underneath it? Uh-huh. Hmm, okay, interesting. Just trying to see if the numbers that people are seeing or the numbers that the guy was writing down on the wall. It's just all a countdown timer, it's nothing like that. Oh. Oh my, what? A girl, you've gone full rogue. I think it comes back to that book that she was reading that's talking about how humans are going to destroy the planet. Oh, So it's all her so fault! It. it was her fault. Damn! Yep, they should have let her rot in prison! Oh god, I don't know. Whoops the daisies! Oh, that's crazy! Oh, I just still have so many questions though. I feel like I'm I'm very good at clutching at straws, but sometimes I get it right, okay? I was just thinking you had in the first episode the guy that had a million numbers on the wall and I can still see it and, and all that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, I just counted it down. It was just his countdown. But maybe <laughs> the numbers are correlating to something in Chinese and I they're trying to communicate. So. No, I don't think so. Maybe they're trying to communicate with the scientists via the numbers, but it's actually Chinese words. That counts down to zero. Yeah. No. So she, right. My expertise aside, she <laughs> wants to, she doesn't care. She's very much like, whatever, I'm kind of sick of this. Nonsense. Well, essentially she's a prisoner yeah, yeah, Doing this work anyway. So she's like, whatever, I lost my dad, my mum's... She like, also probably thinks that the different countries are just going to blow each other up and kill everyone on the planet anyway. Yeah, as you say, oh, we don't repent. Mm. All right, well, I'll just kill you all then. I'm trying to figure out in my head though, so okay, let's just say that you've got these aliens or something are on the way. And it takes them however long to figure out, let's just say the 30 to 40 years mm. to actually get here. They've got the coordinates here. Okay, that kind of stuff makes sense to me. 
what doesn't make sense to me is why scientists are being targeted and their work is being targeted. Are they trying to take out things of importance so that when they get here, we have nothing against Yeah, yeah. I feel like they're trying to take out anyone who's... Intelligent. Well, who's getting, having breakthroughs that could result in stuff against them against them that yeah. they could use against them but the confusion for me is how are you getting timers on these people to freak them out and they might literally have a way to just murder them from well as they said do not respond because yeah we are more intelligent they might have you. they might have weapons that are quicker than what they can get yeah and obviously you've got this game which Jack literally said, this technology is like 150 years into the future. I hope not, because I would like it in my time at least. But you know what I mean? So I feel like I'm kind of figuring out bits and bobs, mm. but I don't understand the link between the headset, the guy that's watching. I mean, the guy that was watching the headset could actually not even be on our planet. And he could be one of could them. Be that's testing them yeah oh i think that the the like you say the link between the headset and everything else that's going on because right now it just doesn't make any sense yeah like why is the headset... i feel like i need a full episode of just the game to figure out like what is going on in this game yeah i think they're testing them with the headset mm. and that's why it's going to specific people yeah it could be and it could be a case of the girl vera from the start failed the headset and well that's what suicide. i was thinking yeah yeah so, I think we're getting it. It's not that complicated. Yay! Oh, we'll see. So, I don't think it's going to be too bad. I'm intelligent. What can I say? Yeah, I think a, a countdown timer could somehow be a secret communications device. Could be. It could be talking Chinese. I think I'm turning Chinese. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And we will be back with Three Body Problem very, very soon. Also, we don't mind theories in the comment section. Just nay spoilers. Thank you. Well, very we can't much. really have theories in, can we? You're allowed to think about things. Yeah, but then but they might know. All right, we won't be in the comments until we finish this. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you all in the next episode. Bye.